Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. My name is Chelsea and this is I Heart Aries where we do all Aries readings. And today we are celebrating you. If you have clicked on this video, your birthday is on March 22nd. Happy birthday to you. Okay. So I am doing individual readings for each day of Aries season for the people. So every, so all of my supporters will get a personalized birthday reading. Um, I just want to say this, a little preface, I told yesterday's reading and I'll make a bigger announcement as we go along, but please do not get in your feelings too much about whatever comes out if you don't like it. This is just to prepare you, okay? Because whatever's going to come is going to come anyways. Um, so if you know what's coming ahead, just to prepare you, all right? The tarot does not lie. Do not get mad at me. Do not get you know upset if it's not something that you don't like. You just use your discernment. And you prepare to avoid anything that you may not like, all right? All right, so I just have to say that. So let's go ahead and get started here. This is for March 2022nd Aries, not 2020. March 22nd Aries. Let's see what is coming towards them for the year ahead. Holy Spirit, Spirit guys and angels, please allow me to deliver a clear message here for the March people who were born on March 22nd. What is coming towards them? For the year ahead, what is the main theme, the main energy here coming towards March 22nd, Aries spirit? All right. <clears throat> so this card, I almost started reading before. Um, I had to restart it. The false person card keeps was keep showing as I was shuffling. So beware of somebody who you can't trust. And one thing I also want to say, not just people you can't trust, companies you can't trust, um, schemes, um, any kind of thing involvement that you you need to know that you can trust somebody, make sure you check out every possible as aspect that you can. All right. But the theme that we have for you is pathway. So this is the energy of light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. So you may be going through something difficult right now, okay? You may be going through something difficult throughout the year, but by the time you reach your birthday next year, there will be some semblance of hope and restoration, okay? The light at the end of the tunnel for you, okay? So there's something, a feeling of something that is a long time coming is going to happen for you. So let's take a look here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is for Aries. Excuse me, not just any Aries. This is for March 22nd Aries. March 22nd Aries. March 22nd Aries. March 22nd Aries. Thank you so much. This is for the people who are born on March 22nd. All right. So let's see about love. What is the energy of love or the theme of love for the year ahead for March 22nd Aries? What is the theme moving forward? Oh, you got two cards. Okay. We'll take them. All right. It could be a dark haired person. It doesn't have to be a female. You could be a female. Female could be coming towards you. Um, darker hair, intense and focused. And then you have union. Okay. For serious relationship, marriage or partnership. And I like to clarify that um, with this Island Tribe Wellness. As I split the deck, I'm seeing engagement ring. So there could be a long-term commitment. There could be a proposal for some of you. All right. Let's take a look here. This even could be um, a, not just a proposal of marriage, but this could be a renewal, vow renewal as well. Let's see here. Let's clarify this for, all right. Well, there's a karmic situation coming in. All right. And just keep in mind that we, in the tarot world community, people use karmic as a negative thing. And I wish people would not have started doing that because it's not true. The, your divine person who you're supposed to be with is karmic, right? Because it means that there's something that you did from a past life that now you two are meeting, right? And this could be the love of your life. Now, it also could be somebody who comes in. Well, that same person doesn't have to be somebody different. That same person who could be the love of your life will come to you and show you lessons about yourself and about your journey on this earth, okay? So we do have karmic relationship. So that just lets me know. And I feel like that's why this intense energy is coming from, from the brunette. Now, if you feel like you are already in this situation, there could be 
light at the end of the tunnel for this situation, right? Maybe you walking away from it, leaving it, transforming it, whatever you need to do, okay? Whatever you need to do in order to learn the lessons of this union. This could be you finally meeting someone here who is supposed to be on your path in this life, all right? It could be both because I do see Cupid's arrow at the bottom of the deck. So this, some of you, you could be meeting this person. Some of you, this could be a situation that is already, you're already in. So let's see about the soul lessons journey. Oracle, this is for the theme of the year ahead for Aries born on March 22nd. The theme for Aries born on March 22nd. What do we have here? You have the death card. So this talks about transformations, right? It says, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings, okay? So there's some sort of transformation, um, could even be a spiritual transformation deep with inside of yourself that you are going to be seeing this year ahead. So let's get three oracle cards here, three tarot cards, excuse me, to clarify a little bit in more in detail what you will be going through for this year ahead. This is just, obviously this can't predict the whole year, but it's just the main theme of what you may be going through for this year ahead. Okay. Let's see here. What is coming towards March 22nd, Aries, for the year ahead? Okay. These all fell on top of that one card. All right. I'm only going to pull three. All right. So the first card that you have is the nine of swords here. This talks about anxiety, anxiousness, sleepless nights, trying to figure out what to do in a situation that is like really on your mind, right? Really, you could be obsessing about it. This could be something that you're trying to figure out. But the nine of swords here means thoughts and obsessive thoughts. Now, nine also means completion, something coming to an end right before the 10, okay? So we have this energy here. Then we have the king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy here. This is someone here who is very innovative. This is a leader, very passionate. Um, this is someone here who creates and then executes and then has other people follow. This is somebody who's very charming good looking, right? I'm not seeing anything about egoism or anything like that. Sometimes people say that about the King of Wands, but it's upright. It came upright. So this could be a very upstanding, logical person here who is very passionate about what they are passionate about. And I'm getting the energy of this King of Wands very focused on their future and very focused on their success of whatever they are trying to do or create or manifest. Okay. So, and then we have here the Ten of Cups which is the ultimate happiness card, the wish fulfillment. It could be a, a wish fulfillment in a relationship, a wish fulfillment in a job, career, family, but this is someone getting exactly what they prayed for, what they dreamed of. This is that dreams come true card. This is also spiritual alignment as well. So it does look like here, Aries, over this year, there could be something here that is bothering you. It could be bothering you right now. Going back to this light at the end of the tunnel, I feel like you are going to be the one who takes action towards your dream life, dream relationship, or dream goal. And you get out of this foggy energy here of not knowing what to do, of stress, anxiety here, um, whatever this is, the death card, this talks about endings. So it does feel like whatever this is, is coming to an end for you. Whatever this is that was giving you a headache or stress, um, I keep wanting to, I keep stopping and I keep wanting to say the word manipulation. So somebody could be experiencing that as well. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the three of swords. Okay. And the knight of wands. So I definitely feel like you could be getting away from some sort of deceptive energy or someone here who could be non-committal. And I'm seeing the sun underneath. So moving to some, towards something better. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this reading and I hope that this helps. Um, you guys take care. Bye.